guys it's your girl Kiana Montoya and I'm back at it again with another video today's video is going to be a skims review and haul so if you're interested in watching definitely stay tuned and if this is your first time coming across my channel be sure to subscribe if you would like to make sure to interact with your girl down below in the comment section talk to me and I definitely do talk back as well as be sure to give your girl a thumbs up let's go ahead and get into the video Hey you guys, so we are going to be doing a Scams Haul Plus review today. This actually was a requested video, so big shout out to the individual who requested for me to do this video. I actually had it on my list of hauls to do, but that request came right on time because I was able to pick up a few items during the Scams Biannual Sale, which took place during the Black Friday holiday. So y'all... I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit hesitant to do this review because when I got my package from the start, I was not satisfied. Well, honestly, let me take it back to the day of purchase. Starting from the day of purchase, I was not satisfied because one, the sale did not start on time. Two, the website kept crashing. So I had to like keep going on the website over and over and over again. And three, the sales was not hitting like I thought they was going to be hitting. And four, when I got my package in that poly mailer instead of that Skims box, my heart, my heart shattered. My heart shattered when I didn't get that Skims box. I was like, really? Over $200 spent and I couldn't even get a little box. I had to get a little poly mailer. Nah, I was not feeling it. I was not feeling it. The only item that I got on sale during what was supposed to be the biannual sale was this top that I'm currently wearing, which typically goes for $34. I got it on sale for $30, so I only saved like $4. Um, I purchased a total of six items. I did get these soft lounge sets, so you know each item is sold separately. So I got the tanks as well as the boxer shorts. In total, I paid um, $226.56. So yeah, like I said, my kind of disappointment appointment, excuse me, started like when I first began my purchase. Um, it was my first time shopping with Skims, so I just kind of expected like something different. Like, you know, I see everybody just raves about Skims. They rave about the quality. They rave about the fit. And honestly, I just, I expected something different different and it didn't give what it was supposed to give in my personal opinion um this probably would be my last time shopping from the brand I don't know if I'm honestly willing to even give the brand like another chance <sighs> but anyways so I am currently wearing the first set. I'm actually going to insert some footage here on the side. I didn't open the other items yet because I wanted to, you know, show y'all how they came in the packaging, of course. So yeah, this is how um, the Skims items come in this kind of combustible bag. And like I said, I purchased six items. I'm still mad about that Skims box. I was expecting that Skims box, but... It is what it is. Um, I'm honestly like not a fan of the items that I picked out. I'm not sure if maybe like I purchased from the wrong collection because I know she has like multiple collections. But the soft lounge collection does not work for me. In my honest opinion, I was buying like some loungewear that I thought I would be able to like go outside and run like quick errands in because I do see a lot of people wearing these skim sets outside. But for me, um, this is not leaving my house. I, I got to wear this in my house. So I don't know how y'all getting away with wearing this outside because you can't really put on any underwear or any undergarments with this like so yeah because initially when I was first trying these pieces on I tried them on like with my underwear on and you could see like my underwear through the clothing I don't know if maybe it's because of I mean I know the texture is soft but I don't know like I would at least thought that you could wear these with underwear, even though this is like a boxer set. So, 
like I don't have on any underwear like with this set. What I don't like is maybe it's just this color. I don't know what it is, but I, you know, you could just see every like flaw on the body. Like you could see the fupa, you could see the little dents in the thighs, the cellulite, like you could just see like every flaw on the body. And I'm not really feeling that because maybe I'm just not feeling the color that I currently have on, which is the oxide. I did pick up the cocoa um, set and then I also picked up the ox set. So maybe it's just the color that I'm currently wearing that I'm not really in favor of. But it's very see-through. I mean, I know it's soft lounge, so hence the name, like the fabric is going to be very soft. Um, but as a plus size woman, I just honestly feel like we need something to like really hold us in, to compress us. And I'm just not comfortable with wearing this, being that it literally just shows like every little flaw. I just don't like that. On top of that, I'm not going to say that I'm not gonna say it's horrible because it is bodying it is bodying like the booty is sitting like the booty is sitting y'all gonna y'all will see in the side footage the booty is sitting so I'm not gonna say like it's horrible I think I just had like a different expectation and that expectation was not served. But I'm going to take a brief intermission and I'm going to try on the other uh, sets that I bought just to see if I will come back and feel the same way. But at this point in time, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. All right, you guys. So I did have the opportunity to try on the other two sets that I purchased the Coco and the Ox. And I'm definitely gonna say I like how these look so much better. So I honestly believe it was the color. Um, I was able to try these on with underwear and the hold in the stomach area is so much better. But I can say like, I'm still gonna wear these inside of the house. I definitely would not wear these outside of the house even though I am able to put underwear on and I'm still able to um, probably layer over them, I would just keep these for inside of the house. Because, you know, there are some loungewear pieces that you can get away with wearing outside. But honestly, mm, it's not for me to wear these outside. I think I'm just a little bit more suited to wear these inside the house whenever I want to lounge around and be in comfort. I can't go outside the house and run no errands in these. <laughs> but with that being said, I'm still not willing to really give the brand another try. I honestly just want to say like everything is not for every body shape. Everything is not for every person. So sometimes like just because you see someone with something on and it looks good for their body and their body composition. But for me, I don't feel like this looks good for my body or my body composition. Personally, like I'm not going to say that the body is not bodying, but I think the boxer cut style short um, just really accentuates my stomach more than I would like it to. Um, so yeah, I really don't like that. But other than that, just leave y'all comments down below. Y'all let me know what y'all think because um, personally, I'm not a fan. I'm honestly not a fan, but I, I pay my money for them. So I'm definitely, you know, going to wear them. Um, but I don't think like I'm that big of a fan where I will be purchasing again. So yeah, leave y'all comments down below. Let me know what y'all think, um, whether I'm wrong or I'm right. You know, let me know what y'all feel down below in the comment section. But Anyway, if this is your first time coming across my channel, be sure to subscribe if you would like to. Make sure to interact with your girl down below in the comment section. Talk to me and I definitely do talk back as well as be sure to give your girl a thumbs up. Peace out.